In the summer of 2012, the Supreme Court ruled that the Medicaid expansion piece of the Affordable Care Act was optional for states. We looked at the 14 states that at the time of the study were deemed least likely to expand Medicaid and found that in those 14 states, about 3.6 million fewer people would have health insurance. The people that are most affected by a state's decision to expand Medicaid will be low-income individuals, the most vulnerable segment of our population. In addition to the coverage implications, there are also cost effects. Those states that do not expand Medicaid will see about $8 billion less in federal spending annually. This is money that would be used to pay nurses and doctors and other medical professionals for the services that they provide. They would then spend the money in the general economy and pay taxes on it. If the 3.6 million people don't have health insurance, they'll still be using health care, and part of that will be picked up by the state and local governments. And in those 14 states, we estimate that that will total more than a billion dollars. When the Supreme Court ruled last year that states could opt out of Medicaid expansion, they didn't allow states to opt out of any other part of the Affordable Care Act. The Affordable Care Act pays for the Medicaid expansion through new taxes, fees, and reductions in spending in other programs. These funds will be raised from all states, but will not be spent in those states that turn down Medicaid expansion. So in some sense, the states are already paying for Medicaid expansion regardless of whether or not they take it. We found that Medicaid expansion was in the best interest of the low-income population because this is the best way for them to get health insurance. We also found that it's in the fiscal interest of states because they see additional federal spending and reduced spending on uncompensated care. There's no doubt that this is a polarizing topic, but RAND is particularly well suited to research this kind of issue. As a nonpartisan research organization, we were able to, to fund this internally because it's such an important issue.